ahead and demo how to make a plate with sort of that uh, rim, okay? So it's just a couple of different movements. First thing we're gonna do, just a little wheel wedging just to get started. All right, so we're gonna go up and down. Okay, you guys ready? So now we're gonna go ahead and just flatten this down and we're gonna do the same thing we just did. So we're gonna try to get this shape. Okay, we're gonna get this sort of hockey puck, I like to say. All right. Shape. All right. And again, I'm really compressing as I move along. That compression will really help with those S cracks. So I'm just working it over. But if you notice, it's really thick. Okay, so it's like a, an inch thick, sort of like this. And that's so that I can go ahead and trim a nice foot at the bottom, okay? All right, so we're gonna just stretch out a little bit more. All right, so now I'm gonna just drag a little bit of clay from the inside to the outside. And I'm gonna make sure I got a nice little roll of water. Just take my finger here. Dragging this guy. Again, I always like to make sure I have a lot of excess water here for this job. Okay, that's good. I just run this back. <laughs> I like right. that. Running it back? That was cool, yeah. Yeah. Here we go. Ooh. Right? Again, all these compression, it's just all about compression. Okay, so now that we've got this, now I make this a little bit more distinct here. So I make this distinct, and I'm gonna go ahead and just run my S12 over the top so this gets nice and flat. All right. Run it one more time. Push so this down. Yeah, using the straight side. I want to make sure we get this, but I do want to just kind of go back in with the flip it over, get that nice and even. Okay, so that's pretty flat. Are you just like using the middle of it when you use it? Uh, no, I'm yeah, using okay. a little bit of all of it. Okay. okay. Okay, guys. So now I'm going to take my inside thumb, and kind of push this up. This outside rim is going to go up. All right. You see, it's going up. Okay, now we're gonna just squeeze it from the outside again and just keep driving this up. Right. Still a little thicker than I like it. I think I might just cut off a little bit of this. I don't want a huge rim. Okay. So I just look for my sponge. We're gonna do this again. Okay. I'm gonna grab this outside clay, bring this guy up. Ooh, that's gonna be pretty good. Okay, so I still, I'm leaving that top a little bit thick, so that top outside edge is like that, but I'm gonna stretch this, okay? Stretch this. All right, you guys ready? Now here's, here's where we want to show that real distinction. So I'm going to look at the corner of this edge and I'm going to really articulate it so that I have a nice transition point. So I'm going to take this corner edge and just make it very distinct. You see how I did that? See that? All right, now I'll just soften it. This is going to happen real fast. Now I'm going to take this edge and push it down. Okay, everybody watch real quick. Take my finger and I'm just gonna pop this down. And this is the last move, right? This is the last move. Remember we talked about this being the last move? All right, okay, here we go. And then I just go like this. And that is pretty horizontal. And there is your plate. Wow. That's gorgeous. I don't think these plates should go out of style. They're beautiful. Oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I think that turned out pretty nice. Okay? Okay. All right, great. Yeah, it's still pretty nice. But you see that's, there it is, okay?